action! Activate! Welcome, I am Gazbot. This is Action Activate. And if I am he and this is that, then with me as always... It is I, it is the big dog, back at it, ready. Today is an important day. Because we got the rest of Season 2, Part 2 on Netflix. Yes. Now, we uh, didn't... uh, We were kind of watching the unofficial releases or Canadian releases. We didn't go so far as to watch the German non-English releases. We watched official non-american releases right and we will both be playing the those episodes on netflix in the background to make sure they're counted but the episodes i played on netflix today and you did as well were 18 and 19 and we're going to review 18 right now and then 19 will go up maybe tomorrow or whatever back to back so 18 guilt trip now normally i like to show pieces from it but it's on Netflix, and I'm. it's giving me a hard time showing pieces from it, so we're just going to do a discussion this time. Hey, one less thing to worry about for copyright. True. You know, I'm going to I'm gonna turn it off. I had it on on the side, but I don't even want to look at it. Let's just do it old school. I got my notes. I got my notes. This notes. is actually – so for the first time – actually, not the first time, but I, too, you can't see. It's a blank screen. I have notes. You're going to have to believe me. Um, but I have notes as well. Um, initial impressions, what would you think? I liked it. I liked it as well. I thought... I, um, oh, you first. No, no, go ahead. I, I thought, uh, again, like I don't want to keep using the word filler episode because in some ways it was, mm, yeah. but in other ways I felt like it wasn't and it was just a non-giant like giant overarching plot episode. Here's a note I have. I, most of my notes are linear like as I go through it. This Same. is a non-linear note I have. I wrote, good filler or light progress. Yeah. Meaning it's either a good filler that had some, or it's like, oh, they progressed a little bit, but I put, I also put good standard. And this is kind of how I feel about some of the other episodes we've watched recently where I'm like, oh, let's get to the, like the, the good stuff, the ending. Cause we had that sort of mini, like the mini boss with Lord Zed. Yeah. The episodes in between are, it's a weird thing where I'm like, oh, I can't wait to get through these to get to the good ones. But these are good episodes. Yeah. But what I wish is that this was sort of the standard we had had all along. Yes. Because I feel on average, they've been above average for what we've gotten. But because of where they're placed in the season, I'm kind of like, I don't care. Go. You know, like, so it's this one, weird... this one felt like maybe it's the time in between. Like, now that I watched, I think it was like three since the Lord Zed arc. Like, right. I felt like I was disconnected enough where it didn't bother me. But like, for this, I didn't feel like I needed to keep comparing it to that. Again, it right. felt on its own, which was yeah. good, which so- I feel like made me enjoy it more. I agree. I went into it not being super excited because my thought was, okay, we did a couple sort of uh, reasons from filler very broadly, but filler episodes, the chances are that 19 will be the one where it ramps up into the big finale. So 18 is probably going to be another filler episode. That's what I thought going into it. And I kind of stand by that. There is some forward progression. It's not strictly a filler episode, but that being said, I I enjoyed it. I was like, oh, despite this being kind of what I thought it would be, I liked it. Um, It starts off with... uh, they're trying oh, – they have the key, and so they're going to distract the rangers by sending them far away, and then they're going to use the key. And da, 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 da. Um, it, it also starts off with Ollie kind of blowing off his mom. And yeah. in that beginning part, I was like fine with it. I'm like, that's fine. He's, he's at work, or maybe he works – he doesn't work there. I don't know what he's doing. He's there, and he's talking to his girlfriend, and he's kind of busy. And he's like, Mom, what's going on? Yeah, I sent the thing. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, I don't really have time to talk. Fine. And it's like, I felt like, oh, is he supposed to be a jerk there? But it seemed totally reasonable to be like, I picked up. I can't talk. She called again. He didn't pick up. Maybe not the best son in the world, but yeah, not, it's fine. That's normal. And I'm like, okay, this this is fine. But then I'm like, oh, no, are they going to just keep going with this? And this is another Ali is a jerk episode. And, of course, that's what they did. I'm I like, have more colorful language for my notes, but it's that. Like, right out of the gate, I'm like, oh, this is the Ali is jerk. Okay. But yeah. without jumping too far ahead, this was – 
the least jerky Ollie is a jerk episode that we've had, which is good. Yeah, it was fine. Um, also, I, I psyched myself out because um, Void Queen was like, we're going to send them. So, Void Queen was like far, far away. And this is the biggest stretch I've ever made. But for some reason, my mind went far, far away. Lost Galaxy. This is Lost Galaxy. Deep deep deep. Deep. Yeah, and, and like, and it wasn't, and it was like, what, why would I even think? But it just like, I don't know. I just heard it in my head. I'm like, that, that's what it's going to be, and it wasn't. And and I'm a fool. If uh, it did tie into Lost Galaxy, do you think it has to do with season three? Season three of Dino Fury, of Cosmic <laughs> Fury. That, you know, I forgot about your thing, and <laughs> I even set you up because I always say of season three of Dino Fury by mistake. So you had the opportunity to correct me. Well, well played, sir. Well played. Thank you. Thank um, you. Yeah, it won't tie in. Um, so they go to Japan. <laughs> uh, it, what's, what I thought was weird, though, was the whole idea is to get them out of the way all the way in Japan. But then they teleport to Japan, reinforce yeah. they didn't teleport. What, like, if, if it was an emergency, they could have teleported right back. But whatever. It was an excuse to be in Japan. Um, and that was one of the things I liked about this episode. Same. Uh, it, they had different locations. They had, like, the laboratory and they had outside Japan. And that, like, I don't know what that was. Some kind of, like, museum in New Zealand of Japan stuff or whatever. Because obviously they're not in Japan. But, yeah. like, they had a couple different locations we'd never seen, and that helped it not feel like a filler episode. And yeah. there was a lot of original footage, surprisingly, you know, just because we saw the civilian actors doing a lot. So, yeah, it, it, it absolutely was, like, 75% filler, 25% content, but it felt fine. I liked it. You know? It felt good. I loved – because I didn't put two and two together because for – at least season two, I think all these mm-hmm. moms have been in Japan doing research about dinosaurs mm-hmm. and you're like, okay. Um, and this is the one it's like, Oh, she's in Japan. They could just use Sentai footage, whenever they want. This is brilliant. Right. It makes sense. But what's funny is that's why I thought that because they had scenes of the American or New Zealand actors, English speaking actors will say in front of sets that had Japanese signs. But I'm like, this is New Zealand. They're making it look like Japan. And yeah, there's some Sentai footage that maybe that made it easier, but they shot a lot of American they footage. Did. It's like, it was just, it was weird. It's like, this is the opposite of what they're normally doing where they're trying to make Japanese footage look American. So when they were in the lab, I will say I set myself up for failure because they show Ollie's mom and she's like, I don't get why he's being such a jerk, blah, blah, right. blah. And then I was like, are we about to get a cameo from literally anybody who happens to be working in Japan studying dinosaurs with her? And then uh, we did it. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, I'm ass- the, her her partner, the Japanese scientist doctor guy that worked with her. I'm assuming he's not some sort of Sentai common writer actor, but I didn't look it up. I didn't recognize him, but I didn't look it up. So that would be the one. If it was somebody, it'd be him. Yeah. Well, no, I was thinking an American actor from a previous Power Rangers season would show up, like a Billy oh. or a, not Doctor K, but like somebody along those lines. Right, because they're not in Japan; they're in New Zealand. So exactly, why yeah. They- so uh, the other it's thing too, it's confusing. The other thing too, for those who have watched our other reviews and hopefully will watch our future reviews, um, anything that we don't know is on purpose because today all of the episodes dropped. Yes. So we are just not searching anything Dino Fury until we watch them all. So yes. if anybody in the comments goes, oh, why didn't you look it up? I don't want to get spoiled. Right. I've already been spoiled for like three things. I don't want to get spoiled anymore. So I, I don't know. Spoiled. I don't know how many things I've been spoiled for because a lot of things were said. I've seen a lot of things and before today, before they, everything was officially out. So I don't, it's that thing of like, this might be real. It might not, that might've been true. That might not like, so as it progresses, we'll find out what was true and what was not for me. Um, But uh, even when that isn't the case, I am reluctant to look up too much stuff because I just want to watch it and enjoy it. And, and we have good fans that will tell us in the comments a lot of times what's going on if we really care. And yeah, um they're but, willing to brave the internet where i will not <laughs> and speaking of people who have watched for we have been very hard on the character ion yes and we lately been like ah he's getting better or whatever i think this might be my favorite ion episode i it's definitely up there for me i loved um again ollie being a jerk he's like oh i just want to go on this date with amelia yeah. um and then he's like oh man such good food over there i'm oh, man right I, Wish I could go. And I was like, there's food. It, it was this weird thing where like the plot hole was they have really good food in Japan. Oh, I know all this food in Japan. I want to get, you're like, uh, that's, I guess because they've established that he's like a junk food nut and he loves food. So as much as I've criticized, like, how do these aliens know this stuff? Like they've established 
he is a food guy and he yeah. loves weird food. And, and so like that made perfect sense to me. Uh, and I found him to be the most likable, well-written, well-acted version of the character in this episode. So far. yeah, he was a uh, solid, um, I forget what it was. Oh, uh, <laughs> they, uh, when Ion goes, uh, Ollie's mom treats him to some, uh, takoyaki and mm -hmm. there were all, the second half of the season. There's a lot of forced puns. And I like about 25% of them. Mm, okay. Taco Yummy was one that I liked. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I will say the the second half, like the, the further the show goes on, and there's exceptions, I feel like the humor has gotten better and better and better. Even from the beginning, I liked some of the one-liners, but there was stuff I really hated. And I feel like the stuff I like started outweighing the stuff I didn't like somewhere in season two and it's and it's gotten better and better to the point where like yeah there's a lot of jokes and comedic stuff happens in these episodes this one and the next one and not all of it is my absolute favorite but yeah. very little of it is offensive and like this that's is terrible that's yeah. what i want to say just because i don't like it doesn't mean i hate it so like yeah. for for whatever reason we'll get into this more in the next episode is so many characters like just have random one-liners now Mm -hmm. which is kind of jarring at times, but again, it's better than 19 CGI somersaults into garbage. Yeah. Yes. And that's kind of what we were, what was spoken about early on. I don't remember. Yeah. I, I want to say it was, um, what's his face? Uh, Simon Bennett. I want to say it was Simon Bennett, but it was so long ago. I forget. Had said something about like, why don't we like, like we're going to try to incorporate humor throughout the show instead of just having, here's the funny scene with the one funny character. And that sounded great to me, but I feel like, we kind of got both. We got the comic yeah. relief, and and now it's sort of becoming more what it was described a while ago. Yeah. Um, so going back to to humor that theoretically I wouldn't like. She gets bird poop, and I'm like, that's a lot of bird poop. Like, it was. It was an obscene amount. And then literally, like Ion's like, that's a lot of bird poop. And then she's like, Whoop, and he's like, Ooh. and I'm like, oh, and it's it's it it was juvenile, but it worked. You know, yes, it was like oh. agreed. Yeah, and it was totally fine. And then the villain, and I loved that. Ion, the food guy, was fighting the food villain. Yeah, and he's like calling out different foods as he's fighting them, and like describe, like like giving like like bakery critiques and stuff. I'm like, and again, I'm like, this is the perfect use of this character. He's doing it, and it was all um, civilian fight. Too. It was so, so yeah. that scene must have been either great or terrible. The film I feel like <laughs> because it, it's probably fun the first couple times he got hit, and then now eight hours later, he still smells and sticky. It probably really was not fun. And the the thing I loved about it was like he got hit like once or twice. I'm like, okay, they hit him with food way more times than I thought yeah. they needed to, but it almost like made it better. It absolutely did because once or twice is a gag. It's a pie in the face, but it became clear like, no, this is a monster like the slime monster or the needle monster, whatever. There, he's just the food monster. And then when he was getting hit with stuff, it looked like it was like really. It wasn't just like, oh, you got me. It looked like, oh, it's like really hitting him. You know, like it was believable. Like it was like, I'm gonna pie to the face. You're like, yeah, oh, yeah. Ha, 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 pie to the face. Uh, oh, here's like a bunch of donuts or something, it, Adam. It and it's like have been a scene that was dumb and I hated, but it was not. Yeah, it was enjoyable and like appropriate that it was Ion and it just yeah the whole thing. I I was shocked how much I enjoyed it. Yeah, at the end of season one, if we just got a like written description of this we're gonna be like oh no no yeah. it jumped the shark it's over it's and over. then you watch it and it works so good good on everybody for that agreed uh and eventually the rest of the rangers show up and uh mucus just like, like so random mucus like i baked a cake that says like rangers stink and then she falls into it okay it completely unnecessary and random but it didn't again it didn't offend me i'm like that oh, that ruined the episode because she's a comedic character and whatever and it was mildly amusing if not random you know i want to read to you verbatim the notes i took do it so from this scene transitioning to the next scene so many pies cool morph which then the next one is big drill find sporix key doesn't work wow <laughs> do you want to hear my notes yes are they more coherent uh, they're, well more than yours but not much uh <laughs> I wrote, uh, Ion, likable, bird poop, question mark, sugar hit, sporks, Ion, food, should be dumb as not, Japan, but teleport, <laughs> should be dumb as not. <laughs> it was the, it was the way you said it, not the yeah. words. And then, and then for what I just said, mucus, self-owned, sponge cake. <laughs> yeah. 
Um, I, I love Mucus. I oh, I don't know how many people villains wise are carrying over. I would love if Mucus human form or not gets carried over into the next season. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, <laughs> no, I don't know anything. I don't know. Uh, that, that was your, I don't want to say anything and I know something voice. No, that was, I, there are some potential spoilers. We got like, the same spoiler. Maybe. But there are some potential spoilers. No, like, we, we did. Thing. Let me finish. There are some spoilers. <laughs> I'm saying potential. I know. I'm like, just kidding. This is what will happen. Or this is what this character does. And it's either true or not, but it's very blatant. And I know that spoiler now. Then there are spoilers where like, oh, because someone said this, that might happen. Or because some actor, you know, like kind of, and the thing I have with her is a sort of sideways piece of knowledge that may or may not be true and may or may not mean something. So that's like, so I'm saying nothing, even if I knew for sure, but I don't even know anything. Was it an image you saw on social media? Let's move on. Let's, let's shall we? Anyway, so um, the villains go to the drill. They find out the key doesn't work. And I'm like, well, that was very anticlimactic. I love um, though that... <laughs> The, the two lieutenants are like, we're going to do it. And then he's like, click, click. And they're like, plan failed. Boo. Like, just like, I thought that I also cool. love how uh, the park ranger was like, oh, ranger hotline. Like, you guys are needed. And then it doesn't work. He's like, uh, cancel that. Yeah. <laughs> and Slyther at that point does one of his, like, big floor split. Like, Apologies. Like, I just thought that was nice, too. Yeah. Um, yeah. And the, the ranger canceled that. Yeah, that was that was a funny scene. Um. Then we cut back to Ion finishing his fight with what was it, sweet bite, sugar, sugar rush, sugar, sugar hit, sugar hit, sugar, sugar hit, sugar rush, sugar rush would have been better. <laughs> um, and I don't know if they meant this as deeply as they did, but they were talking about he's like they had the CGI, which is eh, whatever, but of like the meringue thing. And Ion was fighting and he burst open and he fired what looked like strawberries. And Ion was just able to dodge Mulligan. Ion just doing really good this episode. Um, but the villain said something along the lines of Pavlo pa Pavlova berry attack or surprise attack or whatever. I'm like, Pavlova? Why do I know that? Bluey. It's an Australian. Oh, dessert. nice. That's like the zipline thing. And I'm like, yeah, there was a whole episode about bingo. Didn't want to eat Pavlova. And it's and, and then I'm like, well, that was like really specific. And then I'm like, well, what's the difference between a meringue and a Pavlova? And again, I looked this up because it wasn't Power Rangers. But a, but a meringue, I guess, is like crispy and hard all the way through. And a Pavlova is crispy and hard on the outside. But then there's a soft inside. So I guess that's why he was able to be inside. Like, I don't know. It was, I, like Maybe I'm overthinking it. But I was just like, oh, OK, well, I learned something about pastry from Power Rangers and Bluey. Uh, all I heard is I want dessert after this episode. That's uh, all yeah, I, I got some cookies I'm going to eat. Um, there you go. Um, I have notes of such weird fights. Good moments, though. Yeah. <laughs> but it was. It, it was like one of those things like I, I love episodes like this, especially for us, because, again, everything about it shouldn't work. Right. But it did. And they made Ion look cool fighting a monster in a cake that has questionably bad CGI. But I enjoyed all of it. Agreed. Agreed. Yeah. I uh, well, I'll give you a spoiler. I'll give you a spoiler uh, for our show. After this, we're going to do the review for episode nineteen. I preferred this episode to nineteen. See, I preferred nineteen over this. Watch but I, but I enjoyed out. this. Watch episode nineteen, our episode review of nineteen, and find out why. <laughs> yeah. Um. um. So I, and then Mucus had a map, which actually I made a note that she had the map, and one of the Rangers said that too. But then later. Like, did that come back? Did I miss it? Like, what was that? So, so the thing that was weird about it, and we're mildly jumping. So they figure out where the monsters are going to go because Mucus is going on this, like, sightseeing thing that I was going to ask you, did I miss this earlier in the episode or did they just kind of pull it out of nowhere? Kaka, kaka. Are you still there? Can't tell. If your internet's there, can't tell if it's just me talking. If it is, then everybody gets to see me do this freestyle rap. Doop a doop a doop, boop boop boop, boop a doop a doop, boop a doop boop. Big dog, come back to me, big dog. Hey, I'm oh, back. Can you hear me? That is a birthday present from. Oh, hi. Hi. Okay. Well, it's still recording, so I'll have to edit it. But we'll just go. No, I, I did a I did a freestyle there in case you couldn't hear it. No, not at all. Nice. Um, <laughs> so um, what I was saying was in regards map. to the map. map. Yeah. Yeah. So did oh, I miss something? Hold on. Hold on. Stop. Stop. 
Okay, so in regards to the mucus map, did I miss something, or was it a thing where the villains made the plan of we're going to go to ten different places in Japan to distract the Rangers, or is that just like a random thing that they pulled up? Like, well, I saw she had a map, and based on my calculations and putting my yeah, finger I, in the wind, I know how to get here. Similarly, I was unclear, and then again, jumping ahead, there were the henchmen that were at like some tourist attraction. And I guess it, it was a plan to just distract them by going to tourist attractions. That's what, but it wasn't super well explained. It was explained well. Hey, send them to Japan, keep them busy. But the yeah. specifics of the plan, I'm like, oh, I guess that was it. Okay, whatever, you know. Um, new locations. The mom. Okay, so now we're back to the lab, and and the mom wants to talk to Ollie, like have a little heart to heart. She's being a good mom. She's not overreacting, and she's sort of like, what's going on, dude? I do think yeah. it's bad timing. We're in the middle of this huge crisis. She's like, "Let's." That's because it's a TV show. But I had to notice, like, you couldn't wait until after the crisis to have the heart to heart. But you know, and Ollie, up to this point, he'd been kind of inching more and more. It's like, is he a jerk? Uh, you kind of, you know. And then at this point, it's like, ah, he's a jerk. You know, because yeah. he's just like, whatever, mom. And like, you're questioning my work now. It's like, oh, yeah. Oh. And again, it it just felt like very genuine and real for this situation where. A uh, teenager, you know, reacts poorly to parent. Significant other awkwardly has to watch them argue from a room away. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Cause Amelia's just like, I know you're being a jerk and like I'll be accommodating, but it seems like you don't want to be accommodating. Yeah. And the other thing, again, this is a children's show, is the more I think about the situation, the less I like it. But if you look at it surface level, it's fine. Ollie wants to have a, a fun date with his new girlfriend for a thing she really wants to do. If yes. you peel back the layers, Ollie wants to go on an overnight trip at this creepy hotel with his girlfriend who's into ghosts. And he wants to stay there for the weekend alone and will do anything to get there. I hadn't really thought of that level. And I'm going to continue to not think of that level. Uh, m m not incorrect, but moving on. Um, yeah. Yeah. So then they go outside and there's the other doctor who is definitely not a Sentai actor because they're New Zealand, not Japan. Uh, and he basically, <laughs> <laughs> I wrote, I'll, I'll read my notes now. It says other doctor, Ollie learns he is a butt. <laughs> I put the scientist makes Ollie feel worse by saying nice things. <laughs> Both good. Both good. Uh, the uh, thing I loved uh, is, the solution again, everybody's just so wholesome. It's like, yeah, your mom totally goofed these readings because I don't know that you goofed them. But my yeah. solution is I'm gonna get two garbage bags full of snacks and we're gonna pull an all nighter. But that also made it clear that not only was this a bigger deal than he thought, and everyone loves his mom, but she covered for his mistake. Yeah. Yeah. And, and that was the thing I loved about it was all of these always have a resolution of somebody's a jerk. They find the error of their ways, whatever this one, no one told him he was a jerk. He yeah. just was riddled with guilt. Yeah. Cause it's like yeah. this whole team can't work because I was lazy. They even and went thinking further. about myself. They went further. It was like, okay, my mom is her reputation is a little bit sullied because of this. Now this whole team has to work overnight and the crew can't get paid until like, it's just like, and also the crew who can't get paid, their kids are starving and they're like, it's just like, I'm going. <laughs> and then if we don't find the dinosaurs, then the Sporex win. Like, right. Yeah. 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 Um, I don't know if it showed up earlier in the episode, but my note right here, Zato hat is back. I saw he had a hat and Izzy had a hat. Yeah. And it was the same hat he had. It's something like local 207, like, like a non-union union Local hat, Z, you know? Z shirt wearer. Right. Yeah. So theories about, unless they filmed super out of order, theories about him having a bad haircut or something, maybe not so much. Um, but they did a public teleport right there. We know there was a taco stand right there. And they kind of do that thing like they look like this, but going back to secret identities, the person manning the taco stand is still going to be there. Anyone could be seeing it. And this is some kind of museum, laboratory, university thing. They don't have any security cameras. Like it just again goes back to the silliness. Giant yeah, plow hole that's irrelevant. Yeah. Um, the next scene is the henchman at some sightseeing place. Forgive me, yeah. but I don't remember what it was or know what it was. But they're taking pictures and posing and being goofy. What did that make you think of? Sentai. Well, yeah, it's sentai footage, <laughs> but it made me think of putties. Oh, kind like, of, yeah. Like various different foot soldiers have had various different levels of autonomy and, and like whatever personality, putties, especially season two and three. Would yeah, they'd be like doing ballet dances and like, like <laughs> exactly. And so when they were doing that, I'm like, this feels like putties. And I wasn't sure if I liked it because up to that point, the henchmen had just been, but I got on board because 
somebody, one of the Rangers was like, what are they doing? Sightseeing? And Zato goes, not on our watch. <laughs> I know. <laughs> All of it was so dry, and I loved it. And I forget, there was another Zeta line. It was either, in, I think it might be in the next episode, where, like, somebody says a joke from the villain side, and Zeta's just like, I don't get it. All right, it's Morphin time. I think that's the next episode. But I Okay. Agree. Yeah, it is the next episode. But, yeah, Zeta, well, I've always thought that Zeta was funny, and they're, they're amping up that, like, the dryness and the fish-out-of-water kind of humor. Uh, yeah. But, yeah, no, that was great. Um, and then, I, uh, okay, here was, I was a little disappointed. Um, Ion, they, they get, they see the cake sugar bite man. I don't know why I can't remember his name. Uh, they don't even know if he's a man. <laughs> Ion, they see him and Ion's like, I got this. I know how to beat him. And he charges in. So he was like, wait. And I was totally on Ion's side. Usually I'm like, what are you doing? But I'm like, yeah. no, he, he has fought him and he knows yeah. food. And he, knows, and he, I literally thought to myself, he knows the difference between a meringue and a pavlova. I'm like, ah, I get it. You know? And, uh, and he doesn't. He he does okay in the fight. It's actually a really good fight. Like it, it is environmental usage and stuff. But it was just like he did a good job fighting, and like his knowledge of food and this monster had nothing to do with it. The the two things I noticed from the fight was it was we rarely see hand to hand fights in ranger suits, especially yeah. this season. They yeah. almost always have their sword. This one, he was literally fist fighting the monster, yeah. which was awesome. And it He's reminded me, I don't know how many you've watched, but I used to watch a lot as a kid. It reminded me of like a late eighties, early nineties, like Jackie Chan or Jet Li movie. Oh yeah. I, I've seen tons of jackie chan movies a few Jet Li, but like tons of jackie yeah and just that's why i said the environment like when he's like using the the bench and flop yeah exactly. it was exactly yeah very jackie chan why well, and it was also awesome. to say that too when like more so with ziggy from rpm mm -hmm. he is jackie chan like when he fights he's jackie chan he's just like whoops what's going on and he's like he's jackie chan and drunken master he's not jackie well, chan and everything even when jackie chan isn't in drunken drunken master he always has this sort of like, whoops, I fell into the thing that hit you in the face. Oh, I'm scared you're going to hit me, but I can't. Not, not in everything, but we'll agree and disagree. Most. More often than not. More often than not. I, um, I know Jackie Chan movies. Like, you know, I also know Overdrive. I know everything about him. Have you seen every Jackie Chan movie? I'm not being a jerk. I, I haven't I seen every. I've seen a, a good amount, though. Like, I'd say well over half. I don't know how many he's had, I realize. I've seen 10 at least, maybe more. I can name off the top of my head at least a dozen. No, I mean, start number one. Oh, uh, Wheels on Meals, Gorgeous, Who Am I, uh, Armor of God, Armor of God 2, um, If You Want to Go America Wants Tuxedo, Rush Hour 1 through 3, um, uh, Drunken Nine. Master, Drunken yeah. Master 2, uh, Super Cop, I think Super oh. Cop 2. Um, okay, that's 13. That's 13. Okay. I, I think you got me beat. I've seen, I've seen about ha a third of the ones you just said plus some other ones, so I think you got me beat there. Um, and gently I've only seen maybe like three or four total. His late nineties ones, early two thousands are a lot of that kind of fighting, which it made me think of like, uh, Romeo must die or, uh, kiss of the dragon, uh, unleashed stuff like that. What was the one where he, it was like a Highlander where uh, the one, ones, I love that movie. It's not great, but I love that yeah, movie. Yeah, I remember liking it a lot. I bet you I wouldn't like it if I watched it now, but anyway, we're almost at the end of this episode. So, Hey, uh, oh, so, so Ion beats him and he, he, he gets hit far away, like like a you know Team Rocket's blasting off, and then immediately grows. And I thought that was yeah. fun. Like, there it goes. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then the Megazord fight was another one of those. I don't care. It was, it was literally forty five like, seconds. It was like, hey, here's the Megazord. You're done. Okay. And it's like, yeah. oh, all right. Um, and then the Sporks falls, and you think Mucus is going to get it, but she's denied. Um, and then there's a joke. Um, because Sporks talks about what she wanted to eat some pies from that guy. I guess I'm back to eating fiber flakes or whatever. And Javi's like, hey, well, you know, say what you about mucus, but I'm glad she's getting her fiber because that's important or whatever. And he's just like, you'd know. And I'm like, what? I'm like, oh, wait, wasn't there a joke like season one about him having bad farts or poops? Or yeah, something? like he poops a lot or something. Like, this is a callback to like a poop joke they made about him a long time ago. And I was like, all right, all right, well done. Well done, Izzy. Well done. Yeah, it, I think, I forget. It was, I think season two, because it was like something like, oh, Ollie takes forever. It's like, oh, I had a burrito for lunch or like something yeah. like that. <laughs> but, and that joke was like, okay, fine, but bring this back. I, I enjoyed it. Bring um, back poop jokes. That's what we're about here. Well, <laughs> callbacks, C connectivity. Call back, back to poop jokes and connectivity. Uh, call back to poop jack. <laughs> it's a poop joke. Continuity via the lower intestine. So, uh, Ollie now is being nice and a good guy. However, I think he made an overcorrection. 
because putting aside the stuff you were saying about the date, they were making a big deal about this was going to be a date, romantic. And he's like, mom, you should come with us. And it's like, that's an overcorrection. Yeah, about, agreed. Your phone call. Maybe we get coffee together. Not, hey, there's this romantic weekend we were planning. Now you come with us. And show up. <laughs> Yeah, it's, and stay mom, there I, with us. I get along with my mom really well. She's like, you know, that series of like, she's my best friend. Like, yeah, but I wouldn't be like, hey, come on out to date night with us. Like, no, we'll get breakfast or dinner or we'll hang out. Like, we'll have yeah. a plan, not come with me on a romantic. That's weird. That's weird. Um, oh, One of the best lines in the whole show. Absolutely. I want a t shirt of this. All I right, do I'll too. Uh, so, uh, in oh, terms I'll of. I'll set you up. Ion's like, okay, I'm going to go get food. Here's all the food I want to get. And then the other ranger's like, well, I want this food and I want this food. And then Zato also has a list. And then he goes, all right, everybody, it's ramen time. As leader of the team. It's That's ramen. And it was that perfect freeze frame of like. Yes. So good. Face. Oh, it was perfect. Chef's I want, kiss. I want a, a, yeah, like a, a red shirt or, or a white shirt or whatever with just monochrome, like an outline of his face, you know, like the unmorphed face going, it's ramen time. Like, I want that shirt. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so, yeah, I, I mean, I, good filler or light progress, good standard episode. I, You know what? Uh, I'm going to refuse to give this a grade because I think the grading system has failed me. You're welcome to give it a grade. I'm saying I liked it, and I wish there were more episodes like this earlier in the season. That's what I'll say about it. I thought this was super solid. I'm going to give this. The more we talked about it, the more I liked it. But I'm skewed because I, because of watching 19 also. I'm going to go B+. Plus. I, I think I, I this could be argued to be an A um, or in the A range. I don't think it's an A+, plus, but it was a super solid episode. I liked it, and it was better than it could have been. I'm so, especially how hard you've been on some of the others. I'm surprised yourself. If I was giving it a rating, I was going to give it a B plus. That's what I had in my mind. But I, I'm trying to, I, I don't know. I feel like I just, the more I talked about like how my ratings make no sense, the more I'm like, I should just stop. I should just stop. But we're not going to stop. We're going to stop this episode and then we're going to record episode 19. And then tomorrow, Friday, because I'm going to put this up Thursday night or, or Friday morning, depending on when I get it up. Friday is Hasbro, PulseCon or HasCon, whatever they're calling it. And yeah. they're going to have the online panel uh, for Power Rangers during the day, 11 p.m. California time. or a.m. California time. 11 a.m. California time. Uh, and we uh, are planning on doing a live reaction for that. So hopefully that all works out. We don't usually are able to do that kind of stuff. But uh, if you're around and you want to watch it with us, there you go. If not, you can watch it later. But until then, I've been Gazbot. Still the big dog. And... To the power. It's ramen time. See you later. <laughs> yeah. Operation Overdrive is my favorite season. It's never time for that. Never ever. Do you worry at all because there are people who might think you're being sarcastic when you say it's your favorite season. And there are people who do like that season. Maybe it's their favorite or one of their favorites. Do you ever worry that they might think you're being sarcastic and take offense? Um... I, I'm hoping that when we review the season, the true feelings will come out and we can just squash any uncertainty of my feelings toward Overdrive. You know, have more than one little clip to let people know how I feel. What, what you, explain that further. I, I will when we.